My name is Amit Kumar and I'm the privacy expert with the Lost Sequence Skill Arbitrage. Today, Today we we'll learn about handling a data breach. How can you handle a data breach as a privacy professional? If there is a data breach, organizations have the following responsibility. Organizations must inform the National Data Protection Authority and the customers about such breach through a notice within 72 hours. The 72 hours timeline is strict under GDPR. If it is not done, consequences could be as high as 2% to 4% of global annual turnover under EU GDPR and similar penalties are present in other countries as well. This is why organizations pay a very high remuneration to privacy professionals given how high the stakes are and how specialized the work is. However, it is not difficult to do this. I'll show you how to do it. Now, before that, you have to understand how is the data breach detected? Usually, either the employees or the consultants or vendors or suppliers, these kind of individuals are the first people to know that a data breach has happened. It is the responsibility of a privacy professional to conduct training of such employees, consultants and vendors so that they are able to report a breach if they notice one. Depending on who has detected the breach, they must inform the DB or the detection officer if the organization has appointed one. Every organization is not legally required to appoint a DPO. All right. If they have not appointed one, they should inform the legal or the dedicated privacy professional in the organization. The DPO or the privacy professional must inform the National Data Protection Authority about such breach. Okay. So here is a sequence of events which is usually followed when a data breach happens. First, the privacy professional conducts a preliminary investigation into the breach. Second, the privacy professional will confirm if this data breach involves personal data or not and what categories of personal data are involved. Okay. If personal data is involved, then he will inform or she will inform the national data protection authorities. If personal data also has sensitive personal data inside it, for example, financial data, then Individuals must be informed about it as because it will directly impact them. So whenever there is a breach, one of the key responsibilities of an organization is to inform the National Data Protection Authority and the customers, clients, employees, anyone whose data has been compromised. And this responsibility must be executed by the DPO or the privacy consultant if the organization does not have a DPO. But there are specific components which must be included in such notice. GDPR states that a notice must contain some specific information. I'll, I'll show you what are the specific requirements which GDPR is mandatorily asking to uh, share. And then I'll show you an, one, one live example of uh, Air India as to how they have drafted their uh, data breach notification. And this is Article 33 of GDPR. It specifically mentions what information has to go in when you are notifying the individuals or the authorities. You have to mention about the nature of breach. You have to mention about the types and the approximate number of people who are affected by this. You have to mention about the contact information of the DPO. You have to mention about the consequences of the breach, if you know about that. You have to mention about the actions which the organization has taken. And you have to also mention the mitigation steps so that that the impact of such a breach is reduced. Now we'll see how a real notification looks like. I'll show you how a real notification looks like. This is Air India's notification. Air India in 2021 suffered a major data breach. Okay. It affected these many individuals across the globe. Okay. Now how they are drafting this. So they have mentioned that the first notification about the data breach came to us. On 25th of February. Now, this involves the personal data of people. These many people are involved. And it involves their name, data worth, contact information, passport information, ticket information, frequent flyer data, as well as credit card data. Now, what are we doing? What measures are we taking to mitigate or to ensure safety of such data which have been compromised? So, we are investigating the data security incident. We are securing the servers. We are engaging external specialists. We are notifying the credit card issue and we are resetting the passwords of the frequent flyer program. Now, this is what the organization is doing. It is something that they are expecting the customers also to perform. So as a privacy professional, you have to mention what can the affected individuals do. So in, here we have mentioned, we encourage passengers to change their passwords. 
Now, the, towards the end, you as a privacy professional, you have to mention either your name or some individual's name who is responsible for uh, maintaining privacy within the organization and their contact information so that they can be contacted if there is any questions, if there are any queries or inquiries from the passengers or customers. Now we'll say how can you draft this using ChatGPT because it is very helpful that you take assistance of some uh, AI system. Okay. So let's say I want to draft a, a database notification. See it, what happens is in case of multiple entities, like for example, Air India operates in multiple countries. Now they have to notify multiple authorities okay, in, in different countries. And it's a time constraint that they have. And AI tools serve as an excellent existing mechanism through which you can do it within a short span of time. You will save hours within those 72 hours timeline. Now, I have given a specific command to chat GPT. Assume that you are the privacy officer of a European company. What information would you require to draft a database notification for the public? Ask me the question so that I can directly answer the question and draw. Since we have already seen what is the minimum requirement under Article 33 of GDPR, we will validate them through the response which are GPT is generated. Okay. So it's asking what is the date of breach, what is the nature of breach, types of data involved, what is the scope of breach, approximately how many individuals have been affected, what is the consequence of the breach, okay. what measures have you taken, how should the affected individuals contact if they have any further inquiries, and any advice to the affected individuals, what advice would you give? So that they can protect themselves. And notification to authorities, whether you have notified the authorities or not. So what I have done is, I have pasted all this information here. What is the nature of information? How many individuals have been affected, etc., etc., with ChatGPT generated. I will validate this thing with Article 33 of GDP. So that the response generated by ChatGPT is not something which is not even required or uh, something which is out of the context. So I, I have already validated it and I have made some changes accordingly. So first I have mentioned the uh, company's name for which I want to draft it. I have taken the example of, uh, let's say, Baiju's Private Limited. It's an tech company in India and it has presence in multiple countries. So what is the nature of breach? I have mentioned it's a confidentiality breach. Hackers have stolen the data. Now, how many individuals have been affected? What categories of data have been Compromise, I have mentioned, around 500 employees and 10,000 students' data have been compromised. What types of personal data you think have been compromised? I have clearly mentioned name, email address, phone number, date of birth, payment data, credit card data, debit card data, course details, address, etc. Et what are the consequences? Since you are not aware of the consequences at this stage, because it's an early stage of data breach, so you can mention that we are still investigating this and now with the consequences we use financial and social. How did you come to this conclusion? Let's say because credit card and debit card details have been shared. So financial consequences are something which you can easily predict. Now, what measures has the company taken? Or support? they are securing the compromise servers. They are engaging external specialists to investigate the matter. And they are notifying the credit card and debit card issues. Then what is the advice that you give to individuals? I have only mentioned one advice that you have to change your password so that some limb of protection comes to you. Then whom should you contact? So you have to contact, like I have given my example, Kumar and DPO and my email ID. All right. This is also an example email ID. Then whether we have communicated to supervisory authority. So I'm mentioning yes, we have communicated to supervisory authority. I'll copy this information, all the responses, and put them in chat. As soon as I put them in chat GPT as a response, I, I've given a command. I have responded to the question. Now draft a DWG notification under EU GDPR. Then I have copied that same information by just private limited, etc. etc. In the prompt. As soon as I give this prompt, chat GPT will generate a full fledged database notification. Now, this is the database notification which chat GPT has generated. You can see that it's very detailed. I only mentioned Pages Private Limited, but it is adding the entire clause, which you will take a lot of time to grasp. You can save your time here. How many people have been affected? I only mentioned 500 employees and 10,000 students. It is making a clause out of it. Affected data reports, I mentioned these names and it's making a clause out of it. Then what are the consequences? So I only mentioned two things, either financial or social. And, but chat is making a full clause out of it, which is fantastic. Save my time. 
or any privacy professional time. Then what measures has the company taken? It's mentioning all the measures that I have mentioned. We have secured the compromised servers. We have engaged external specialists. We have notified the card issuers to safeguard against fraudulent transactions. All these things were not specifically mentioned by me. I only mentioned that we have notified the card issuers, but it, it is making clause out. And what advice do you give? So I only mentioned changing passwords. ChatGPT on its own has mentioned that you should monitor your financial statements for any unusual activity. And this is fantastic. This is what I require. Then the contact information. So it is making a clause out of it for more information on tender data protection officer by Shamit Kumar on this email ID. Then have we communicated to the supervisory authority? It is making a clause out of it. It's saying that yes, in compliance with GDPR, we reported this breach to the data protection supervisory authority within six hours of discovery. And we are fully cooperating with our parties. And then your name and permission. So what we'll do is we'll copy this information in our structure. So I have copied this information. Now what you have to do is, now you have to remove headings. Because as we saw in the Air India Data Bridge notification, these headings are not required. We only have to communicate the main context. And you will have to validate this with Article 33 of GDPR. Because we are taking the example of EU here. Some things you can retain, for example, what are the consequences of the breach and what are the measures they have taken. But other headings you can remove so that there is continuity of the data breach notification. And you have to check whether all the information that you have put it has been mentioned here or not. Then you will mention your names. Uh, let me mention my name, for example. Then your position, let me say, data protection officer. So how this will help you is it has already generated a data breach notification as per our requirements. We will have to modify this. For example, the dates have not been included. So I'll mention, let's say, 21st of December 2023. I can take any example. So you can make this notification, review it th thoroughly, and then send it to the authorities. And this is only for GDPR. If you are complying with multiple authorities, if you are an MNC company, you have presence in multiple countries, then you might have to make different notifications for different countries within that specified time. So this kind of AI tools will help you to meet those regulatory requirements in a short span of time so that you do not meet with any regulatory penalties. So you can do this for many other policies and drafting work as well. Thank you.